Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I'm Pastor Joe Fox. You know, I really don't remember the numbers, but when I went to airborne school, I think probably a third, maybe 25% of my class didn't make it through jump school, right? For whatever reason, uh, they didn't make it. And then I went to ranger school, and probably about half of the class who started on day one was still there on uh, day 58 when we graduated. And so there was a weeding out process. And there's that song, The Ballad of the Green Berets, right? It says 100 men will test today, but only three win the Green Beret. And you know, I'm not sure what the numbers are there, but I know there's a, there's a screening of the initial paperwork that goes in, and a lot of people don't make that cut. And then there's a selection course, and my selection course, um, 41% of the people passed, so, you know, more than 50% did not. And then, uh, after the selection course, you go to the Special Forces Qualification course, and not everybody passes that. And then when you get on your team, there's a continual selection process, and, you know, people wash out of Special Forces, and, and they don't get to stay for a variety of reasons. And why am I telling you this? Because anything worthwhile is mildly difficult to obtain. Um, something good and worthwhile is not for everyone. Everyone can't make it. And communities are like that. You know, I've done some talks on community, on finances, and the vision, and the purpose, and things like that. And once you kind of figure out how your community is going to run, and what the vision, the purpose of your community is, how do you find people for your community? It's hard. The first thing you have to do is cast a pretty wide net because not everybody who you think is going to make it in community is going to make it. Uh, Shofar Mountain has had several people come and not be able to stay for, for a variety of reasons. Either they didn't want to or we voted them off the island or something. Um, but doing that allowed us to get to the point where today we have good quality community people, right? And so you have to cast a wide net. You have to actually get out and meet people and talk to people and uh, be a little vulnerable to show yourself and your community to people um, or your idea, if you haven't started the community yet, and get people to come on board. And then know that Everybody who makes the pre-screening cut at whatever kind that is that you do, not everybody who makes that is going to be there a year later. We have a one-year probation period at Shofar Mountain, and that's because, you know, most people within a year, they figure out if they really like it, you figure out if they're going to be able to contribute to the community or something like that. So, when I say cast a wide net, it's like, come on, Pastor Joe, what's that mean? I don't know. Use social media. Uh, go to your church and talk to people. Go to other churches. Go to gatherings of like-minded people to the community that you want to have. Um, and you just got to start talking to lots of people. And so it's going to be very difficult to form uh, some kind of secret community, right? People are going to know about it, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. And so think about that. Think about the fact that, you know, for every three people... Uh, that you get to come to your community, you'll probably have had to go through about 20, and out of those three who come, maybe one will stick. Something to think about, big numbers to get a few quality people, but that's what you want on your community, quality people. All right, I'll see you out there.